It takes a great amount of trust to move towards a vision that you can't prove. You wake up every single day with a picture in your head that others can't see, which at times makes you feel crazy, alone, and discouraged. You begin to question yourself and your vision. Do you have what it takes? Is this even possible? And the answer is yes, but only if you trust your vision. It's going to take a lot more than just belief. Belief is empty trust. Anyone can believe in something, but trust requires you to commit and take action. So in this video, I'm going to help you build that trust in your vision so you have the confidence to keep going no matter who supports you or not. The first step in building trust in your vision is to embrace self-doubt. Because it doesn't matter how long you've been in the game or how many projects you've created, self-doubt is going to play a reoccurring role in your creative journey. I mean, we see it play out the same way every time. First, you have an idea that excites you, and then you doubt yourself throughout the whole process. And when you finally finish, you're relieved and happy with what you've created. Understand that self-doubt is there for a purpose. As Rick Rubin says in his book, The Creative Act, self-doubt lives in all of us. And while we may wish it gone, it is there to serve us. Self-doubt leads to creativity. Because if you don't doubt yourself, you're more likely to accept your first idea as the only one. And as you may know, the first idea isn't always the best one. It is through the creative process, which includes self-doubt, that you're able to create something even better. Because doubt makes you challenge your ideas. It makes you push your boundaries to the point where you're able to see other possibilities, aka being creative. In addition, self-doubt serves as motivation. Because if you had no doubt your vision is gonna play out just as you imagine, and there's gonna be no obstacles or adversity, then you'd lose interest. You wouldn't be motivated to work towards your vision because it wouldn't be worth it anymore. Like Rick Rubin said, while we may wish it gone, self-doubt serves as motivation. It helps us grow. It makes us more creative and it adds to our story. I mean, almost every movie illustrates this. We have a character who wants something, but they have self-doubt. They may think they're not good looking enough. They're not talented enough. They're not smart enough. And the whole movie is them overcoming these doubts until they get what they want. And that's how I reframe my perspective towards self-doubt. I view my life as a movie. So whenever I encounter self-doubt, I embrace it as a part of my story. It's just another obstacle that I have to overcome to get what I want. To quote Rick Rubin again, this path is not for everyone. Adversity is a part of the process. Self-doubt is, is, you know, like if you have a creative mind, you're gonna doubt a lot of things about the world, about yourself, about that's all completely normal. Insecurity is all completely normal, especially with your own work, because it's an extension of yourself. So when you're giving away some of your art, you're giving away a piece of yourself. And it's like, it's like standing in front of a bunch of people naked. You're kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? So the second step in building trust in your vision is to have a plan, because if you don't have a plan, then it's just a dream. But when you have a plan, it becomes an attainable goal. You know the steps you need to take to move towards your goal. I mean, you already know where you're at and where you wanna go. Now you just have to fill in the gaps. And to do so, you have to think like a business because a business knows exactly how much money they need to bring in to keep the business alive. Therefore, they know what to do every single day to bring in that money. Whether it's working on their marketing or deciding which product to push, their plan tells them what to do and they're able to stay on track. As an artist, you need to take some time to develop your plan. Stop leaving your career up to chance. For example, trying to get your song to go viral on TikTok isn't a plan, but knowing how many songs you need to release to get X amount of streams this month is a plan. You're able to see this song got a thousand streams and this other song got another thousand, but your overall goal for the month is 5,000 streams. So now you know this next release has to get 3,000, which means maybe you have to post double the content or get more people to pre-save your song. And if you fail, no problem. Identify why you didn't reach your goal and then readjust your plan for the next month. This way you can actually see if you're making progress. You know what I'm saying? And the way to do that is you have a plan. Because if you got a plan, it's not like just a pipe dream. You have a step-by-step -step list of things to do to get to your goal. If you don't have that, it's very hard to really have faith in what you're doing. Because soon as something pop up, it's gonna look like the end all. But if you got a game plan of everything you need to do, you know, one thing pop up, well, I still got to do this, 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 and that, so this ain't going to stop me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing pop up, well, shit, I accomplished this two things. I, since my last obstacle, I only got three more things to do. Let me keep pushing. The final step in building trust in your vision 
is to build evidence. Now that you have a plan, all you need to do is take action on it. And by doing so, you build evidence with each task you finish, which gives you the confidence to finish the next one. I mean, you probably have done this without even knowing you're doing it. For example, as a kid, when I played basketball, if I made a shot from a certain spot, that gave me evidence that I could do it again. And then in my mind, I'm like, if I can make it from here, then I can make it from this spot that is only a few feet away. I was building confidence in my shot with evidence from previous shots. And that's how you build confidence and trust. By saying you're going to do something and then doing it. Because how much trust would you have in someone if they said they were going to help you do something and they never show up? You wouldn't have any, right? Because trust is a key component in any relationship, especially with yourself. Because if you're chasing a vision that you can only see, then your trust has to be strong within yourself. I mean, it's similar to religion. People put so much trust in a God they can't see. They live their life according to what they think he wants. But the reason they have so much trust in his vision is because he laid out the plan for them aka the Bible. So by following the word of God day by day, they're able to live a better life, which is evidence that they can live a fulfilling life and eventually make it to his vision, heaven. I figured in my mind if I could hold on to this picture of the future and I watched it every day and I visited it every day and I treated everything like it either fit into the picture that I wanted to see or it didn't and things were black and white like that, then I was in a progressive state and I, then I could do better. At the end of the day, nobody's gonna see your vision until you paint that picture for them. And the only way to paint that picture for them is to know where you're going, having a step-by-step -step plan, and trusting your vision. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to make art or die.